Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. More casually and commonly known as just Oblivion, of course. Uh, I learned that the difficulty slider was in the middle, which is weird. And also that there's like a million different like slots to the difficulty slider. Like that for whatever reason, the difficulty slider goes from like negative 30 to positive 30 or something. I didn't count them all. This is cool. Like, the Elder Scrolls is known for having a pretty weird sky, I would say. Because, like, you know, it's got the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, although I don't know if it's called that, visible in Skyrim. Um, and all of them have the Twin Moons, as well as the unusual... Uh, wow. As well as the unusual um, constellations visible, but then, like... This is a different weird sky, and like, this is a cool way to liven up the environment. Fleshy pot. <laughs> hey, player, you need some basic supplies? Well, here you go, my good man. Or mer, rather. And I say thank you. So something that I wanted to mention, I'm, uh, I was initially so far disappointed with this game setting. Um, and I still kind of am, because, like, it's just Europe, you know? Like, it's just Lord of the Rings, it's just Westeros, it's just some fucking grass, you know? It's not a particularly exciting and bombastic area, like... Skyrim, at the very least, has a lot of interesting mountains and bound gauntlets. Petty soul gem. Ooh. Nice. So, bound gauntlets. My speed's being drained from... Oh, there's a fart gas cloud. Um, b -b 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 I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. Oh, yeah, I can eat all these. Bound gauntlet stone. Yes. Cool. So that means that I can, oh I can I can sell it afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. Oh yeah, I've got all these too. I should remember those. Um, I was talking about the setting. What? Oh, that's why you, that's why it's difficult to successfully harvest them. They're alive and they don't like me. That's good, the shit out of me. Let's go back to the sword. Um, yeah, like, Skyrim is cool because it does at least have some, some interesting, like, glades and it has like the snow and like I don't live in an area where it's snowy all the time I guess if I lived in Norway maybe Skyrim would look a little more boring but like I live in the Midwest uh, the Midwestern United States I didn't turn the difficulty down all the way by the way um, I live in the Midwestern United States and if I want to look at something that looks like Cyrodiil here I'll go for a drive, you know? Like, I'll go look at all the fucking corn or the wheat or the hay or the fucking soybeans we have. Is that a landmine? It sure is. Just a magical landmine. Guess they don't give them any drops because it'd be too unbalanced. Do I have a map in here? I do have a loose map. Interesting. <clears throat> what did I just cast on myself? Dispel. Dur. Okay, good. That's more useful. 
Come back here, you. You are an ugly <laughs> fuck, I gotta say. Bone. Just a show item. Um, yeah, I'm just a little disappointed in how, like, boring Cyrodiil Cyr is. I feel like it's very homogenized, especially because it came right after Morrowind. Like, Skyrim is a little generic, but, like, it looks good enough that I'm like, yeah, all right. But, like, Oblivion didn't look that good when it came out. And and now it's just a little, you know, eh. But Skyrim still looks pretty all right. Like, I know that people will, like, annihilate Skyrim with a bajillion mods that add, like, fucking RTX and trees swaying in the winds and a bunch of other crazy shit, but, like... Like, Skyrim Vanilla looks all right, you know? I was blown away by Skyrim Vanilla when it came out. It's not the best-looking game. I still think Crisis 2 is maybe the craziest graphical game ever. Even to this day, even now. You know, it, it made its throne for a reason, and it kind of still has it. Um, but, like, I don't really give too, too much of a shit about, like, really realistic-looking games, because, like, I much prefer a game having an art style. To more feel arrow. Dramora Scout. Oh, did we get infighting, boys? Because we're... Oops. Another fart guy's cloud. Um. But yeah, and like, there are only a few specific problems that I have with uh, Skyrim's like graphics and art. But the game is fine. I can still definitely like. Oh, he's stunning me. I see. I can still definitely like no problem play. But Vanilla Skyrim. Sorry, I'm hungry. So I'm hiccuping a little. But this game looks a little goofy. A little cartoony, you know? I don't know if I like it as much. It's so weird because, like... What happened to my sword? Oh, did he disarm me or something? Oh, wait. These have durability. Well. That's gonna... Affect my decisions, I think. Alright, let's check the map and see where I am. I'm all the way here. The Blood Feast and the Quarters of Dark Salvation. Wow. How inviting. What's happening there? Okay, flame pit. And like, this just looks like, uh, Morrowind. Like, I think it looks like, uh, I think the Nisus area is... It's the really volcanic shit around the Red Mountain. You know? Some Mordor shit. What enemies? Where are they at? Can I get better magicka regen? I assume I must, right? Hmm. Oh, I think that's the that's the gate from before. No, I think this is another gate. War gate. Opened elsewhere. Maybe I gotta throw a switch inside that'll open everything. Or maybe this. Oh boy. The blood well. Pleasant, fun sounding place for everyone involved, I'm sure. Wow! 
But yeah, the weird thing about this is like this is a very specific problem to Cyrodiil. Because this is this is some deep lore. But Cyrodiil was actually initially not. Ascension call. Uh-huh. Oh, the Corpse Smasher. But Cyrodiil was initially not a... Uh... Uh, what am I trying to say? It wasn't a uh, 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 forest and plains biome, you know? Cyrodiil was actually a very sweaty jungle. Um, and using Chim and uh, Akulakan... Or, I think it was just... No, it's Numidium. Akulakan is the second uh, brass god that Dagoth Ur builds. Looks great up there, fellas. Where are my stats? Here we go. Okay, so I can definitely quaff a potion. For 50. I can quaff a couple. And I should. Oh, that filled me up. Wait, what? Oh, it's just a scamp. A stunted scamp, no less. Ah! Oh, that just healed me, like, for free. I've opened a gate. Okay, I kind of figured that it might be something like that. Corpse. Just three septums. Nobody says drakes anymore. I don't see anyone call these fucking coins drakes. I haven't in a couple of, like, a couple games. Bones. Word. Okay. And then now we just got to get the hell out of here. This, right? It sure is. But I guess that's not the gate I need. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> This is interesting. This is a ex a an escalation. Because, like, you're dicking around doing nothing in uh, Morrowind for way longer before the plot, like, comes to you. And here it's like, hey, uh, there's a Hellgate open, by the way. Just FYI, and you're like, oh. Uh, okay, I'll get right over there. Fortify fatigue pants. Word. Let me slap those things on right away. These are breaking. Cool. Got that at least. Got that going for me. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, Cyrodiil was initially a jungle, and that was where like people lived. Ooh, a magic refill. I got two, in fact, so I should swap my spell over. Okay. Let's use frost damage just because I kind of suspect these guys are going to be a little tough to it. Ooh. Or um, rather, they'll be tough to fire, which is what I have been using. <laughs> Sweet. That's what I want. The rending halls. Okay. Wow. Dramora churls. 
just the default like garden variety Jamora. I can come back to that later. Blood feast. Oh, I can right click for that too. Good. Hmm. Okay, and then another way into the blood feast. I feel like I went this way. Again, look great in here, fellas. I love what you've done with this effluvial grime. Wow. Lighting in here is dark. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that. Nope. Literally can't even click on that. Like, am I am I gonna have to get up and turn the lights out in my room? Because that's kind of weird. I love how they ragdoll. Okay, this looks like an important place to be. Also, potentially an awesome place to grind healing. Wow. I like how the um, Daedric Shrines in Morrowind kind of are reminiscent of this, but not completely so. Reaper Sprawl. Over here. Quickly. Oh, I heard someone say something. I'm going to loot these guys. Okay, it's looking bad down there. You should not be here, mortal. Your blood... Shut up, weakling. I don't have enough. What now? What? In the cage. Over here. Caius? Quickly. Quickly. There's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil... Okay. Get to the top the of the large tower. Get to the sigil stone. Remove the gate will close. Did he run away? Maybe he just fell down here. I didn't see. Old style, then. Ha! Oh, you're doing what now? Not cool, dude. Uh, oh. ha! 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 Mm. Ah. Have your armor go up. That's good. But anyway, so long ago, yeah. Um, Serial was actually like a like a jungle. And using his newfound godly powers, Tiber Septum, the first Dragonborn Emperor, and Bearer of the Numidium. It's a whole ah. thing that I should definitely talk about at some point, just because it's a very fascinating, like, piece of lore, and, like, it's it's related to Morrowind. It's, it's just a slam dunk all around. Um... Oh. I guess he did fall. Or maybe I hit him and I didn't notice that he had died. So I was just running around. Take the key. Don't. Okay, I won't worry about you then. But yeah, he, he turned, um... He turned uh, all of Cyrodiil retroactively into a forest that's an, a lot nicer to live in than a jungle. Um, and he did so retroactively. So in in places before Tiber Septum like, existed, he just made it so that like Cyrodiil had always been a nice temperate place to live. 
Oh, we got traps. Let's uh, do some coffin. Maybe I just need to be more strategic about how I fight. Skyrim loves spam clicking, but maybe that's not the way. But yeah, so when you um, visit the area that... Like, when you visit Cyrodiil in The Elder Scrolls Online, which takes place a while ago, Um, it's actually still uh, a forest then. Like, it's still forest and plains. Meet Harbor. <whistles> Even though at that point in history, it was actually a jungle. And, like, there are books that are written around about Cyrodiil that were contemporary with the jungle. They're now outdated because of the way that, like, time just changed. But, like... People don't really know what to do or how to deal about that. And, like, it doesn't really matter anyway. Like, yes, a god just made this jungle into planes. Just deal with it, you know? And so people are just like, yeah, he just changed that. Whatever, you know? I see a red guy down there, so... It's probably, like, a boss or something. Oh. The Punished. Is that a jug that's... Is that a man that's been flayed into a jug? Because, like, holy shit, that's pretty raw. Yeah, when I look at this and I see that its name is The Punished, I'm like, yeah. It's too damaged for any further use. It's a man that's been turned into a jug. This is like oblivion punishment. Gnarly. Very gnarly. Um, so what am I saying? See, a lot of people like hated that. That you can never see um, Cyrodiil as it was in a jungle in like an HD game. I think you might be able to in Elder Scrolls Arena. But like, it's a fucking big deal that like Tiber Septum made uh, his home turf into a... Do I have a spell for light? Flashbolt. No. Okay. Someone probably has that as a tattoo. I mean, come on, right? Okay. I'm not sure where I should be. Is this the place? Is there a thing in here that I missed? Like a door? What's your deal, sir? Oh, you're... Dremor Atreus. Dremor Atreus. I don't know. Yeah, so some people just really don't enjoy that you can't, like... Hello? Oh, well, his health filled back up. Damn. He's, like, straight up just leaving on me. <laughs> Lame. What's wrong, little mage boy? Ruined portal to the blood feast. Did I use it, or? Oh, yeah, this is different, so I did use it. Oh. 
So some people really want to be able to see the, the jungle, but like it's too much of an important thing in the world to like not have. So some just like ah. think you might never get to see it in its like state, oh. you know, not in an HD ah. game. Ah. Gotcha. Danger Heart pearls. Danger Hearts are such like a premium in Skyrim. That like it's kind of interesting that like they're just giving you Daedra like here. You know? I love how this looks like poured lava. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, I think that must just connect to the... Yeah, that just connects to the other thing. I'm sorry. Ooh, gnarly. I like how this is like a bone, like, spine bridge. That's rad. Very cool. It's very interesting that I've, I'm I'm just having to fight with my fists now because like we started the game and we just had our we had our gear and now we're just doing it like this you know. I feel like d I'm very happy. Ooh, word. I'm very happy with my choice of race as well. How do I? How do I drop something? Sorry, I literally just Googled this. Um, you drop something by shift clicking. So let's give this a shot. I imagine that they probably had to like suck out the effectiveness of the Daedra weapons. So this is like a Dramora mace and not a Daedric mace. Cause like you can already get some really busted, really good abilities very early on in um, Morrowind just by going to the Daedric shrines and taking the Daedric stuff in there, you know? Or, God forbid, killing them. Um. Descendant Sigil stuff. Interesting. Um. Close the gate by taking the Sigil Stone that anchored it within Oblivion. I should sell, I should sell Savly and Matthias that the Wayne of Kavach is, Kvatch is now open. Wow, yeah. That's, uh, that's done. Which way? Can I... Can I get some fresh gear soon, please? Tap off there. Rendil, Matthias. Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got <laughs> yeah, far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? It's very interesting that um they actually talk about like, oh hey, you, you closed the portal. And all of them are still in there because they they didn't leave or anything. Did you think that, that it would be that easy? Uh that was that was a pretty good episode. That was successful. I'm gonna cut it here. Um I've been doing like 30 minutes for these episodes, but that was a good that was a good stopping point so I'm going to come back a little bit in a bit. But until then I'll see you guys later. I've been Alpha this has been Oblivion. Uh have a good day everyone. Bye.